Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Madodal Channel. For today's video, we are going to look at our two grow bed system right in the middle of the city in Kainta. This uh, facility or place is a little urban farm. So we have chickens over here. And then the owner decided to add a uh, catfish or a hito uh, tank and with two grow a two grow bed system from Maid. So let us start our walk through with again with the fish tank. Follow me. So the site is still under construction, so be careful. So this is our made 1,200 liter conical bottom fish tank. So it's conical bottom to facilitate in um, cleaning the solid waste from our catfish. So it has a solid lifting outlet. So when the waste of the catfish collects in the middle of the conical bottom of our tank, it is sucked in through our solid lifting outlet. It also has aeration to provide dissolved oxygen for our, for our fish. It exits to our pipe over here and to our main Duraflow uh, or mini Duraflow filter. So this is our new made Duraflow filter with a radial flow in the center and then a static media compartment in the inner circle and a moving bed bioreactor on the outer circle. So the moving bed bioreactor takes care of the ammonia and converts the ammonia into usable nitrates. It exits to our floating raft. So this is our floating raft. So our floating raft contains a pump. It also doubles as our sump. So let's look at our pump. So the pump is a very small pump and it's capable of delivering the water again back to our fish tank over there and to our gravel bed over here. So the pump is diverted to an inlet in the gravel bed over here. Okay? And then it exits our bell siphon over here. So this is the bell siphon but our, of our gravel bed. So now it's in the drain cycle. You see the, the level of the water is at the bottom. So that's the standpipe. Then it goes back to our floating raft or our sump over here. So this is our drain to the sump. It has a vent to facilitate the cut off of our bell siphon. Now for this video, we are going to introduce seeds in our gravel bed. So this is our cucumber seed. So let's, sorry, I mean zucchini. So these are zucchini seeds. Now how do we introduce our seed in our gravel bed? We, we do a direct seeding. So using our hands, just be careful the crushed gravel is sharp. You look for the wet part of our gravel over here. So zoom in on the, on the wet part. So this is the wet part of the gravel. It's approximately two inches below the surface of the gravel and then we put our seeds here then we put another zucchini seed beside it over here so again be careful of the gravel it's a little bit sharp and then the wet part or the moist part we place our seed so that's our seed and then we cover it gently with the gravel okay so we place the zucchini on the side of the gravel bed because this is a vining a vining plant. We also have different types of seeds here, like this one. Let's look at the different types of seeds we have here. Okay, so this is okra, okra seeds. Let me get some okra seeds, okay? Okay, so here we have okra seeds. So you can direct seed the okra here. Or you can start from seedling. Again, look for the moist part. And then, 
you put the okra seed there. So the bigger the seed, the more it can be directly seeded into our gravel bed. Because the bigger seeds do not get waterlogged or they, they do not disintegrate or melt when submerged in, in the water. Okay, so there, are, there you go, those are our okra seeds. Put it back in our insulated uh, container. Now how about the small seeds, like this one? These are very small seeds. We Here we have uh, hybrid tomato seeds, okay? So how do we seed them? So we seed them here in our net pot. So the net pot is just a pot filled with pumice and then we add our tomato seed there. So it's very small. That's why we put it in the net pots so it won't get lost in the gravel, okay? So there. Make sure you cover it so it won't get, it will germinate because the seed will not germinate if it's uh, if can if it's still receiving sun or the sunlight okay so make sure that the seed is covered okay we place another one here there you go and another one here we have to make sure that the net pot is also submerged so as you can see the net pots is submerged in the water okay so through capillary action the seeds will be irrigated or the seeds will remain wet okay so we have leftover seeds here that we'll seed them later so there you have it to recap our system we have our 1,200 liter capacity fish tank, our DuraFlow mini filter, and then our two grow bed system has a gravel bed. It also has a deep, deep, deep water culture, which doubles as our sum. If you want to learn about aquaponics, we have our YouTube channel, Madodel. We also have a webinar soon. The details of the webinar will be posted on our Facebook page Modular Aquaponics. Again, don't forget don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.